Hey, this is Grab and Go Advice, and what you're seeing up there is Jupiter and Saturn. Tonight is the night that they come very close. They haven't be, uh, been this close together in 800, 400 years. 400 years? Visible in 800. They haven't been visible in 800 years. It happened 400 years ago and 800 years ago it was visible. I don't know. Sorry about that. I'm going to take the lighting back down. It helps to take that lighting down as far as I can. This is not where they said it was going to be at, according to the news that we watched. It is south. If you're holding a compass, it is southwest of the moon. However, if you're not thinking of west and everything, it would look more like it's southeast. If you were looking directly at the moon, it would be like southeast. And it is quite a distance from the moon. It's a long shot from the moon. Um, on the news, it makes it look like it's really close. It's not. I'm tapping it to try to See if I can get a clearer picture. I wish I would have left the camera alone. I'm just trying to take the brightness down so you can see it. Bear with me. So what is this called again? So that is the Christmas star. And what I was going to say is that if you're looking at the moon and you're trying to find it, this is down like around 5 o'clock. If you're looking directly at the moon. So it's to the bottom right of the moon. This is not the moon, people. This is the Christmas star. And the Christmas star is made up of two planets that get close enough together to look like it's the brightest star in the sky. The two planets are Saturn and Jupiter. But yeah, it's like if you're looking at the moon, if you can imagine the longest clock arm that you have ever in your life seen. Longest what? The, ar the longest arm of a clock. Oh. <laughs> you know, going around the dial. Yeah. Down to like 5 o'clock. You'll see it. Yeah, it's not like equal to the, to the moon. It's not at below it like it's 6 o'clock. It's over maybe 4 4 30 4 30 or 5 o'clock is what it would look like on a dial i will try to show you how exactly how far away this is from the moon 
Okay, right now I've zoomed out and you can't really see it. So I am going over to the moon. And just to let you know, it's like right in through there. The moon being right there. And if you come down to like around five o'clock, it's like this far away. So I'm gonna go back over here and zoom into what I need to do. I guess I could zoom in on the moon first. Try to zoom in. That people is the moon. <laughs> what makes the stars shine and the moon shine? All I'm doing is cutting the brightness down so that you can see it. It's the reflection of the light from the sun That right there is the moon, and it's actually a half moon. It may look like it's perfectly round. <laughs> and if it does, I apologize. It's this iPhone. But I'm going to go back over here and find, once again. I just think it's really neat how the planets, the solar system in general, how this all works. You know, they're on their own system. Right. You know? Right there. I do too. I think that it's so unique how God created everything. And they're so timed. It's like they're coming together, but they don't hit. And then they break apart and come together. That is true. What if those two planets collided? <laughs> like, they all have their own gravitational pulls, but yet they don't hit each other. Just be patient, people. I am trying to get that in there as best I can for you. It's an iPhone. We can't stress that. <laughs> it's not great with night photography and videos. I actually don't think I've ever seen it advertising night photography. Do you? Maybe the flash might work well, but no. yeah, this isn't doing too great. Well, anyways, from a biblical standpoint, we will see signs, you know, up in the sky 